Hello, I'm Elena Ford, the Chief Customer Experience Officer at Ford Motor Company. Whether you come into one of our dealerships, visit us on the web, call us, use the Ford Pass app, or just need help on or off the road, we always strive to put our customer first. Every day, we are working hard to earn your trust, meet and exceed your expectations, and make your life better, as we've been doing for over 100 years. We appreciate our customers and dealers now more than ever. You are all part of the extended Ford family. I'd like to share a story from our Georgia dealership about how great experiences can make all the differences for a customer in need. About 11 o'clock on the morning, we got a call from Tom Thaxton, and he was talking to our service people, and he said that uh, he had a problem. My name is Tom Thaxton. I was a licensed surveyor in the state of Tennessee for 51 years. He had a survey crew that was uh, in a sport track, and it was broke down in what we call the back country. Our radiator had, had uh, blown up. We had no way of getting it, getting it uh, off the mountain. Well, the tow truck's not going to make it up there, and uh, there's not a whole lot of help. I, I was expecting for them to have to bring a wrecker or something in the next day. My service manager, what she did, she started piecing the puzzle together of what would be needed to help them out. Last time I checked, we didn't have any real severe backwoods hikers in the dealership. We were pretty busy in the shop that day, and. Um, I'm the one who said, I'll go. Well, when he said the middle of nowhere, literally, when you're doing surveying for the government and the Cumberland Plateau, you know, you're gonna get heights in the 3000 range. And the only way to maneuver around there are old logging trails. You can feel the tires and wheels slipping on the rocks. And as good as an F-150 is, it wouldn't go any farther. And, and that's where, you know, the decision that had to be made was, well, it's time to get out and start walking. Luckily, one of my technicians said, hey, take a couple bungee cords with you. And if you can't go any further with the truck, strap the radiator on your back, take two gallons of water, two gallons of coolant, and two hoses and clamps. So I put it on my back, got out, started walking. About a mile and a half, two miles later, and I, I don't know how long, but I actually found the vehicle, and uh, I started working on it. They send somebody from the, from the uh, service department up to fix my vehicle. I didn't realize it was gonna be the owner of the company. That was the thing that amazed me. What I really remember the most was when the crew realized, ah, we got a way out. Oh, we're friends for life, no question. He's just like uh, a, another son to me now. And uh, I never thought that I would have that relationship with a car dealer. When I became a Ford dealer, my commitment was not only to Ford Motor Company, to my family, to my employees, also to the customer. Those customers are calling you because they depend on you, because they trust you. And when you're trusted, the sky's the limit.